Yo, so we are back. We are back. Let me get up. I think this is episode three now, Brand Talk Live. Uh, yeah, so getting going. Uh, last week, two weeks in a row, um, did the first one, obviously, in Arizona. And now this is this is back-to-back weeks. I want to do a weekly. Eventually, maybe do it even more than that. But uh, yeah, man, Brand Talk Live, I'm excited about it. Um, first things first, the hair. It barely fits in the screen. Uh, I am now officially getting a haircut uh, tomorrow. So, for those that like it, think it's long. I'm not gonna cut it all off. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lose all this COVID length and take it all the way down. But I am gonna definitely get a lineup of some sort, fill it out, which is like a low taper, and then uh, probably you know just even it out a little bit so it's less crazy. But go from there. But yeah, so super excited about that. But um, today, uh, how to start. How to start, right? I feel like whether I'm giving a presentation, um, talking to a conference, what we used to do, or now doing um, webinars, Zoom webinars, whatever, whatnot, a lot of professionals are like, where do we start? How do we begin? And even working with a client the other day, we were kind of going over her uh, social media strategy, what she should be posting, how she started, you know, gaining traction and gaining her brand. She's like, okay, where do we start? And so I feel like that's a question that a lot of people ask. Um, you know, I'm a little bit removed from that as far as myself, because I really probably lean into doing social media, like marketing, um, as opposed to posting. And I'll go into the differences probably about two, a little over two years ago where I was like, okay, this is an aspect of my business. I need it for my business to flourish. I need to get, you know, notoriety. I need to become a thought leader. And so I need to start posting and posting with intention. Um, and so that's really where I, you know, kind of change. And then when I created my program, you know, is built within that. So, uh, I think there's two aspects that are critical when you're trying to uh, elevate your social media brand. Um, and it's the art and it's the science, right? The art, you know, being, you know, how does it look? How does it, how does it, what are the outfits? What are the colors? If you're doing text, what are the, what's the fonts you're using? Like essentially in its core, like how pretty is the pictures that you're posting? And coming from a, a wardrobe stylist background, of course, I'm well aware of like first impressions, you know what I mean? How someone views you based upon, you know, um, your appearance, uh, whether it's the outfit you're wearing, your, you know, your hair type, your, you know, the makeup, whatever, whatever. So I, I come from that background. And then the science aspect is more the strategy behind it, right? Like, why are you posting? What's the messaging? What's the intention behind it? Who are you? Who do you want this to reach and why? What do they should be getting out of it? So I feel like both those components are, are critical. Um, I want to break down the pros and cons of each and just kind of go into it. And like I said, that really is where you would, where you would start. So um, the art aspect, let's start there. I feel like that's the easiest. I feel like with a lot of people, when they start posting on social media, you know, they're, they're always like handicapped by like seeing if they're doing it right or what they should be posting. And one of the things I think is unique about that situation is as that's probably the most freeing time for you to post because when you really think about it when you're just getting started or when you're just starting to launch your brand or really starting to be more focused no one's following you like you don't have followers like like your friends and family who are gonna you know like everything you post anyway so you haven't really amassed an audience that's gonna be very um turned off by anything you post so instead of like being handicapped by what should you post just start putting stuff out there like like, I feel like there's an aspect of your tribe will find you. And so if you just start putting out content that, you know, resonates with you, tells you about your story, who you are, your background, et cetera, like that's where you would start. And that's the art aspect of it. And then, you know, as far as, you know, what you want to say, how you want to look, I feel like the branding and the marketing always starts with you. Um, obviously you can scale it. So, you know, at the end of the day, anything that looks better is going to get more views. You know what I mean? If you have a pretty picture, if you are a realtor and you, you're, you know, in, in part of a, a, a great house, like I, one of my photos that turned it the most was a photo that I was at an open house in Dunthorpe for people that are in Portland that are watching this. Um, and it was an amazing photo, amazing backdrop, right? So anything that looks good is going to, is going to have someone stop scrolling for a second. So definitely pay attention to what you're wearing. Um, and whatnot. And, and like I said, and as you get better, you want to scale it and make it better and make it more and make it prettier, et cetera. Use filters, use use special things to enhance the photo. But at the beginning, really just put it out because you really, you can't go wrong. Like no one's, you know, checking it out. No one's really going to be there except for your friends and family, loved ones, et cetera. Um, but art does definitely make a difference, right? At the end of the day, and the art is not just how pretty it is, but the type of content you're, you're producing, right? Is it, is it, 
Is it educational? Is it entertaining? You know what I mean? If you have a videographer, um, there's multiple levels as far as videographers and how good the actual video is going to look. And so um, the art's important, but I would be privy to say uh, of the two, um, the science is probably more, right? And, and, and the reason I say that is because a lot of the a lot of the social media trainings that you go to, um, a lot of the things they focus on, you know, kind of like the fluff, like, you know, how do you, how, where you should post, why you should be on Instagram versus TikTok, uh, what should your headline look like, you make it catchy, like what type of filters you should be using, what type of hashtag you should use. And that's all great, um, but it doesn't necessarily be, have you become, you know, like a thought leader in your industry. It doesn't really drive sales, it doesn't really drive ROI. And most of my clients, who I focus on, are people that don't want to be influencers, but want to be people of influence, right? And I think about that, like, are you posting to be an influencer or are you posting to be someone of influence? And I think the easiest way to discern the difference between those two is, are you someone that's posting where you are the brand and the product, or are you the brand that is selling a product? And both work, but I feel like when you are, if you're a real estate agent, if you are a salesperson, if you're a business that runs a clothing store, if you're a business, if you're a brand that's selling a product, how you post and what you post and the and the narrative and the content that you're sharing should be a lot different. So I feel like that's really the breakdown. And we think of the science, that really is a lot more intentional, right? Like like again, who are you who who are you trying to connect to? What do they need to know? What questions are they asking? Um, what are their what are their pressure points? What are the benefits of, of utilizing your services or your product offering? Um, what are their motivations to buy? You know what I mean? Like all those things. And understanding that versus just getting on and spouting off whatever, being more intentional with how you post, like that is the science aspect of it. So, you know, really, really the fact of, you know, becoming an expert and really, like I said, a lot of times people I say is if you already have credibility in person, it's a lot easier to scale that online. Right, because you already have the expertise, the the information to provide, and you really want to become a resource. So like like I say it all the time, social media is like it's not it's not push it's not uh push marketing is pool, meaning that you don't know when someone's ready to buy. You don't know you know when they're make, ready to make a buying decision. You don't know any of that. But what you can do is you can become the resource. You know what I mean? You can be the person that they look to. If you're a wardrobe stylist, you can give them fashion tips so that when they're looking to, to make a, a, a purchasing decision or when they're looking to need help or when they're looking to get married, they come to you. Um, if you if you're a, you know a car salesman, you could talk about you know the different aspects of the cars, you know the repairs, whatever 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 industry, you can become the expert within that industry and what you're offering. Um, and then when they need to make the transaction, because you can't force that on them, they then will look to you. So that really is you know you know the what and how. I will say you know the best thing to start just to get started. Again, no one's looking at you; they don't know who you are yet. So feel free to try a lot of different things. And that should be consistent throughout all the time. Um, put on stuff, put up stuff um, that you think is going to resonate, but also know your end game. If you are in a sales position, think of something that your people want to know, something that would be resourceful. And that's kind of just, you know, start putting it out. And that's really the, the basis of, you know, how to start. Now, obviously, there's more levels to it. Um, I also want to talk about, like, the where, where you should be posting um, versus just, you know, how to get in the game, essentially. So where a lot of people, will they'll, they'll go to the most popular um, you know, social media sites, whether that's, you know, whether you're using Facebook, whether you're using Instagram, whether you're using TikTok. Um, again, when you're thinking about the art and science of it, it's really going to be dependent on, you know, who your audience is. So I always say, you know, your audience will, de will decide where you go, but you will decide how you communicate. And what I'm not going to get into all the aspects of, you know, your talent and whatnot, but, you know, your audience, who you work with now and then who you want to work with in the future and where they're located is where you should be. Ideally, you would be everywhere that your potential customer is making a buying decision. So whether that's, you know, TikTok, because it could be there right now, whether that's Instagram, whether that's Facebook, wherever that, whether that's Pinterest, LinkedIn, um, wherever they are. Um, and I would, you know, recommend splitting up between the two, like current customers and future customers. That's where I would devote most of my time, beginning with, of course, current customers, because that's where you want to get, you know, you know, get income, generate sales. Um, so that's where you want to be. It's not really based upon what's trending. You also you get to think of the most, the most overly saturated uh, marketplaces, um, maybe like Instagram. It's going to be hard for you to scale because you're late in the game. It's going to be hard for you to scale. Like, like I have a story for me and TikTok, and I don't use it as much as I should. So maybe this is a reminder. But um, I had a video that got like 30,000 views on TikTok and I had like less than 100 followers. 
that can never happen on Instagram or Facebook right now because there's just so much noise in the marketplace, but you can still have the ability to really like catch on and blow up. So, um, so I wanted to TikTok, TikTok more, but again, you have to think if you were someone that's doing sales, a video of you dancing might not translate that would, that could translate to brand, but it's not going to translate to sales. So how do you actually, you know, put out information that translates to sales or translates to expertise? So that's my only disclaimer as far as what platform and where to go. Um, the last thing is, uh, you know, like what, like the consistency, how often you should post. Um, I always say like the thing is whatever you can do, post consistency, post consistently, right? So whether you are posting um, every other day, whether you're posting multiple times a day, quantity does matter more than quantity the the more you post the more you the more data you'll have you can collect the more you can see what's working the more you the ability you have to try different things so without question again because i said earlier no one's actually knowing what you're doing at the beginning anyway so the more you post the more data you have the more you can improve you know you're building that muscle memory but um whatever it is be consistent so i would i would say start out with consistent what a lot of people do is they'll start posting they won't see things working out and they ebb and flow and then they stop for like weeks and then they'll come back heavy again in a few weeks and then they'll stop and then they'll do that and you'll see that pattern and then they'll be wondering like why isn't it working like it's not the platform it's not social media social media works if you know how to work it so i feel like consistency is like of the utmost just so you know however much you're going to post um start with that whether it's you know because you're building a trust level with your audience and they want to know what they can expect to receive from you so whether that's once a week whether that's you know every few days whatever but the more you can post the better so 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 start out with one day one every few days then do two and then do more um and even me i go through that like how do i scale and push out more content and then i think i'll touch on really quick just the aspect of having more content um when you're thinking of something and you're actually being intentional with how you post think of how many ways you can decipher it and repurpose it so um when you're posting something like hey if you want to be on multiple platforms like figure out how does something on Instagram work on TikTok? Like, how can I take that same piece of content and make it make it work for that particular platform? It's not the same as just copying and pasting. It's like, how do I, you know, edit it a little bit? But then at least you're getting two pieces of content from the price of one, and you're just taking a little bit extra time. So, uh, so yeah, that's it. Again, just to summarize, uh, art and science, you need both. It needs to be pretty and it needs to be intentional. I think of everything, it's like post with intention. You want to be consistent. You want to be where your audience is, where your customers are going to be at, not only here, but in the future. Um, and then just start posting more, you know, start building up that library of content, that library of expertise. And so that, you know, when people come to find you, when you have been posting for a while, it's not about numbers, it's about engagement. It's about, you know, uh, how, how um, top of mind you're staying. And so when people do come see your content, you'll have a resource, they'll have a library that they can look through. Um, and then when we're ready to buy, they'll come to you. So that's my that's my two cents uh with how to get started um get started today you know what i mean get it going get it out get out there and then like i said if you if you're concerned or nervous just realize no one's seen you yet so that's the best time because it is actually it's harder to try things once you're successful right like once you've actually tasted a little bit of success it's hard to maneuver and be like okay i want to post this way now like no you know you don't want to let down your audience right so um, even though you have to continually, you know, iterating and changing to make it better and better to see what's working. So when you're starting out, try a lot. And then, uh, yeah, if I can help you, let me know. Um, I actually just been putting out, talking about quantity content, a lot of content, I put out like six blogs this week on my website. So that link is in there. Um, and then brand talk live, like I said, right now, once a week, I'm going to take this content down and listen to my own suggestions, chop it up. It's so all have, you know, like, like tips and everything that I've said, little quotes and things. I'll, I'll repost it throughout the week. And then hopefully soon I'll do it twice a week and more and we'll, we'll keep going. But yeah, let me know. DM, let me know if you have questions, what you guys want to know, what you want me to talk about. I just thought, you know, how to start. I get that all the time, like in any setting, um, industries, especially professionals, because they like they don't know how to use social media. Depending on their industry, is it frowned upon? What they should be sharing, what they should not. Should they should they brand themselves or they or the industry? So, I feel like this is just something that's necessary. People always want to know um, how to do it, where to do it. So, there you go. Again, if I can help you, help me up uh, and enjoy this. And then next week when you see me, I'll be back to normal. All right, y'all. Enjoy your Friday.